As a quick reminder, make sure you follow my Twitter, it's at CODGO619, and my Instagram, which is Go619 with two S's, and my Twitch, which is Go619, down below in the description, guys. I'm trying to grow my platform with all of you best I can, and best you guys can do to help me out is simply drop a follow on all my social medias, so it'll be linked down below in the description. So, what is up, guys? Ghost here, and today... Um. I'm bringing you guys all a video, but we're simply going to be going over... The most underrated guns in every Call of Duty here, guys. So I ran a poll asking you what are the most underrated guns in every COD, and I, I named off some weapons, and the M27 ended up being the most voted here, but I want to include lots of your guys' comments from uh, the replies here, and do me a huge favor. So go to my community tab and vote on my new post, which is uh, asking you guys what are some of the best uh, and most overpowered broken guns that got nerfed. So just like the pre patch guns like for example the 725 you guys remember how op that was and when mw came out but they nerfed that or the proteus and infinite warfare that literally had aimbot it was insane dude so do me a favor just go vote on that post and as well comment down below guns just so i can make a video on that and include some of your guys' responses just make sure you guys all keep an eye on my community tab because i'm very active on that i run lots of polls regarding cod or whatever it is but regardless guys i hope you enjoy the video here comment down below what do you think is the most underrated gun in call of duty or make your own entire list down below in the comment section doesn't matter here if you enjoy the type of content then for sure drop a like rain that will be greatly appreciated and if you're brand new to the channel then consider subscribing for more content like this here if you're just simply watching the watch you're watching my video for the first time i appreciate you coming to my channel here it means a lot to me and i hope you enjoy your stay here if you're brand new shout out to you i love you guys a lot but let's just go ahead and get right into the video now starting off with call of duty 4 i personally think that the g36c here is is very underrated obviously this is kind of uh, overshadowed by the m16 and obviously the m4 as well but uh, the g36 c i've always loved in call of duty 4 slash model for remastered i just like the, the iron sets of it and you can kind of say the same too for mw3 both in MW3 as well as Call of Duty 4, the G36C is highly underused and underrated and it definitely deserves some some love here in COD 4. I just like using it every single time, whether, whether it's with a red dot or simple, nice, clean iron sights. Moving on to World of War, to be honest, uh, I've really never played World of War that much at all, but the two guns that I kind of really see are the SVT as well as the FG42. I love using the SVT here simply because you could hella spam this thing if you have a good trigger finger as you see i'm shooting it incredibly fast and it melts incredibly fast because of that so svt is one of my favorites honestly in that game and the fg42 here is just such a fun gun especially in zombies here with world out war and if you just hit fire it with steady aim it's gonna be a great time i love the sound of the fg42 so much in this cod World of War guns definitely are very, very cool, and they have iconic sounds, and when the iron sights are clean as well, so you can never go wrong with the sound of this gun and just how great it does perform with that crazy fire rate. Going to 2009 with MW2 here, we have the FAMAS as well as the AUG here. The FAMAS is uh, definitely very slept on here in MW2. It's probably low-key the best gun in this game. It's, in my opinion, the best burst weapon in Call of Duty history. It's just so good, dude. Even if you just slap on a simple suppressor and that's it, or a reflex sight, dude, you're gonna go to town with it. It's unbelievably absurd, guys. It really is. Then the AUG here, Andrew says that in MW2, no one used the AUG. I used it every now and then, but BO1. Uh, the AUG was abused and then uh, Instant Noodle says the MW2 AUG was very underrated. People talk about god guns like the ACR, UMP, Scar H, etc. But the AUG was a nice change from using those and it was hella fun to use. So yeah, just the AUG is definitely fun. I love the iron sights so much on this AUG. It has like little to no recoil. It feels more or less like an assault rifle. So very solid gun and you know kind of very underused to be honest. Going to 2010 with Black Ops 1, we got the Enfield as well as the G11 here. So Michael says the Enfield from BO1, it was amazing and super underrated. Also this gun is the predecessor of the LE6, which he's right about that. And then uh, this guy says <laughs> Enfield from BO1, that gun tore ass. 
So yeah, the Enfield is one of those starter guns in Black Ops 1 and just in Call of Duty in general here. And usually with starter weapons, uh, they aren't that good, you know? And you usually use them for a little bit, and that's pretty much it, and you n never use them again. That kind of happened with the Enfield because, yeah, the better weapons like the Commando and Famas and Galil, but hey, it still was pretty good. And the G11 here, dude, the G11 was solid. Super nice as a burst weapon here. I say it's definitely better better than the M16, but they're gonna kind of on the same level sometimes. But I really, really love the G11 here in B01. Super smooth gun. Next up in MW3, we have the FAD or FAD, whatever you want to call it, and then the CM901. So this man says definitely the MW3 FAD. Love using that gun back in the day. Jim says FAD from MW3 was honestly a beast, and Bird Knife says uh, FAD out of all guns without a doubt. Thing has almost no recoil on the Wii. It's a laser beam over there. Sometimes best are safe for last, and in this case, yeah, definitely it's underrated. You really saw it because it was overshadowed from the um, the ACR and FP7, but in the, the CM901 also is pretty good. I mean, I kind of hated it you know back in the day but just now looking at it it's actually a really good assault rifle that has consistent three shot kill range next up for bo 2 we have a few underrated guns all right we got the m27 here so david says bro y'all know the m27 isn't underrated that is top tier coffee donut says m27 is my favorite gun in all COD games, Centino says M27 and BO2 shredded and had a fast fiery underrated. And Alan says the M27 is one of the best weapons, is light, a bit fast shooting, and great damage. So yeah, M27 and Black Ops 2, I really enjoyed using, especially with, with suppressor and stock. It's a super solid, solid assault rifle, guys. I really enjoy it. And same with uh, the SWAT right here. So SWAT 557 BO2 slap. A select fire on that and then you're zooming dude the SWAT in this game is very very slept on probably because it in my opinion definitely took a uh, aim to use and it took a lot of skill to use compared to say compared to say the MA the MA is more of a fast firing quicker burst rifle in this game the SWAT is just your high damage precision and then the Shikom CQB is hated by a lot of people. It really is. It's either like loved universally or just hated upon. But honestly, I think it low key slaps. It's underrated. And especially if you just hit fire around, you know, corners. Just you just go hit fire only. It's a super solid, fun SMG to run around with that can be very powerful. It's just, it packs a small punch, even though. It's a, it packs a big punch, I mean, even though it's a small gun. Going to Call of Duty Ghost, guys, we got the Vepper as well as the Fad. So the, the Vepper is super criminally underrated in this game. You hardly ever see the Vepper being used in, in COD Ghost. Like, I can't remember the last time I saw this gun being used, but it's very accurate if you slap on that foregrip and... The, keep in mind, I have foregrip and rapid fire on this thing. So when you sh when you put rapid fire on this, it literally decimates. It's it's crazy, guys. It's such a fun gun to use, and if you haven't used it, then you gotta go use it. So for the FAD here, Kenny says, in my opinion, definitely the FAD from Ghost. I never saw that gun got used much, but I love that gun. I usually played it with a silencer and foregrip. And then Jay says the FAD was hell underrated. It was the P90 of assault rifle. So. Yeah, same can be said literally about the model for 3 FAD, but the Ghost one this is a lot better and it felt more powerful. And the Jay is right about that. It's literally the, the P90 of ARs, which it has that fast fire rate and that huge magazine. It literally has 60 freaking 3 in the mag with extended. That is absurd. Keep spraying and praying and uh, it's just a solid AR and Ghost. Next up for Advanced Woofer, guys, we got one of my favorite guns honestly in call of duty 2 it's the ameli from advanced warfare so in particular the ameli heavy it's an enlisted variant of the ameli which it has plus one in the damage and that plus one in the damage changed this gun to be absurd just dude i'm destroying these guys this is an old gameplay that i found on my pc and i literally got a dna bomb against these guys here just this weapon is insane just look dude look Look at it! It's just so crazy how powerful this is and how agile and fast this light machine gun is. 
if you just you just put quick draw stock and suppressor and you get yourself that good old dna bomb right then and there calling it in get that vicious metal everything phenomenal weapon here and let's call that DNA bomb. And same can be said with um, the next weapon, which is the MP11, especially the Goliath variant. The MP11 is a very smooth SMG. It's just fun to run around with and use all the time. So just those two guns are very underrated and uh, they're definitely overshadowed by the Battle 27 and ASM1. Moving on to 2015 with Black Ops 3, we got the XR2, which is a three round burst of soul rifle in this game. I used to use the XR2 a lot when Black Ops 3 first came out. And fun fact for you guys, during the pre-alpha of Black Ops 3, this XR2 used to be the best gun. It used to be way more ridiculous. It used to be literally the most broken gun in BO3 during the uh, pre-alpha gameplay that YouTubers showed uh, with this back in the day. I remember it used to shoot very, very fast, but they soon tuned that for the beta. But overall, the XR2 is a very solid uh, assault rifle. You really see it. And then the Dingle over here is an LMG. It's very good in zombies i love using the dingle it's one of the best weapons in zombies to have but for multiplayer it's also very good too i rarely see the dingle for like lmgs i mainly see probably the brm being used or maybe like another dlc or even um even the 48 dredge gets used too and i see yeah that one's kind of underrated too but a lot of sweaties use that you know but yeah the dingle is a very mobile smooth light machine gun and I love it a lot. Next will be have Infinite Warfare, and this gameplay right here is a nuke with the Type 2. The Type 2 is an energy assault rifle. It's a hybrid weapon where you can split it into two, making it kind of like the FMG-9 from MW3. So it's an assault rifle and a Kimbo machine pistols. Yeah, you can just literally take it apart like that on the fly and put it back together for close range or for long range or whatever you suffice. And as you're seeing here, I'm streaking up with it, using it both ways. If for close range, I'm just uh, splitting it apart and using the machine pistol side of things. And then obviously if it's, you know, long range or medium range, I put it back together and I use the AR side of it. And it's so underrated, guys. I just see I'm right on a 20 kill streak with it. And here I am one kill away from the nuke right there. And this guy was from behind, he was behind me over here and I turned on him and got the D atomizer strike that fast for you guys. So there you go, two nukes in one video for you. Literally a DNA bomb in advanced warfare and a D atomizer strike here in infinite warfare. That's why I say this gun is underrated because you guys saw how I got that nuke using it both ways. It's just so good. Same with the R3, R3K assault rifle. It's a three round burst energy rifle and it's so powerful. But I just, you know, these two guns are so underrated and they're one of my, they're some of my favorites in IW. But yeah, let's just go to the next Call of Duty now, which is uh, World War II. So with this Call of Duty, I say the MG15 lead machine gun is the most underrated weapon here. It's a fast firing LMG and it's overshadowed by the Lewis, which is the most overused and probably the most overpowered gun in the entire game. But I just like how you could hit fire with it, slap on steady aim, rapid fire and quick draw. You'll go to town with it or extend mags or even all of them and you'll do pretty solid with it. I love this LMG a lot. It's just so fun to run around with just to have a fun time. And then we have the MP40 here as well, which uh, the most popular SMG is by far obviously the PPSH, but people will be sleeping on the MP40, especially this variant here, the All Out 2, which has the best iron sights in my opinion. So just these two guns, I really enjoy a lot in this game and they're pretty underrated being very good. Going to Black Ops 4, we have two guns that I think are very underrated and that goes to the GKS as well with the Vapor. So the GKS literally has zero recoil and it's a very good SMG because of that. Like precision accurate weapons most of the time in Call of Duty are pretty good and very solid. I enjoy the GKS so much. Some people may, may hate it because it's like, oh, the GKS is a pea shooter. And you know, I admit, yeah, it can get, uh, it can feel like it gets some, a lot more hit markers than usual. And that's simply because of the slow fire rate, but it's like a normal, you know, five to six shot kill gun. But that no recoil is absurd and it makes up for it, definitely. But aside from that, the Vapor slaps low key. You run like a double stock and suppressor on it or just stock suppressor fast mags it's incredibly good especially with the vampire variant with the, the clean iron sights people definitely sleep on the vapor it's really good obviously the maddox is overused and 
uh, the other ARs to the ICR sometimes, but just I love using the Vapor a lot here in Black Ops 4. Just it's just simple and fast, and reminds me of kind of like the HVK from Black Ops 3 a little bit. Finally, ended the video off with Modern Warfare. We got the Uzi as well as the Og here. So the Uzi definitely went through a lot of buffs to make it as good and underrated as it is right now. You know, I say when the game first came out, it wasn't the greatest at all. It was uh, a low tier SMG, nothing really good about it at all, but it came out with a new barrel, it came out with the, the new ammunition type, and they buffed it, and after those buffs, and after the new ammunition types and whatnot, the Uzi became actually pretty solid, and it's uh, a very criminally underrated gun in Modern Warfare. You can kind of map people with this thing here, literally having no recoil sometimes. Same thing with the AUG here. The AUG is low-key probably, I don't know, maybe the best gun in the game. It's just such a versatile SMG. This guy says, uh, 2019 AUG is a hella versatile and hella powerful, as I was just saying. And yeah, you can literally turn it to basically an assault rifle, LMG, or you of course use it as an SMG. MG. It's that good. That's why I say it's probably the best gun in the game or one of the best for sure hands down So guys, that's gonna wrap up the entire video right there going over the most underrated guns in every single Call of Duty Hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video if you did and if you guys did then comment down below what's your favorite type of like chips just like is it like Doritos, Lay's, Ruffles, Sun Chips just comment down below just so I know who made it to the end of the video here guys so I'll see you guys in the next one peace out bitch has been sane I be stuck in the same place I be making waves so you wanna do a safe face better say grace I ain't fucking with the naysay been out of shape but I'm moving at a fast pace